Hey everybody, <clears throat> how you doing? Tonight's been a hell of a night. But, uh, <clears throat> in sticking to, uh, you know, my theme and <clears throat> trying to help drivers like I try to help myself, uh, not to be bogart or be greedy with things that I've learned, uh, in, you know, in the wisdom behind a lot of things I try to do and what I've learned from other truck drivers uh, as my time, you know, with my time in, in this uh, career, this field. Uh, so let me share this. How do you make yourself very valuable? How do you increase your earning potential as a driver? It is, <clears throat> you know, other than being a safe driver, which is the most important thing, right? Not having tickets, not having bad inspections, being put out of service, uh, accidents and things of that nature. Okay. That's the most important thing. All right. That's what makes you super valuable. All right. And, uh, it makes you invaluable and indispensable at that point because it, it increases, um, what it is that companies need. Right. So, what I'm about to talk about uh, is what many, many drivers should consider, okay? And that's endorsements, all right? Whether it's doubles, triples, tanker, hazmat, you know, all these things are very important. Whether, whether it's also getting flatbed experience, step deck experience, you know, car hauling experience. Whatever you can do to make yourself stand out uh to the higher ups you know to the people who want you who want their company to have a driver that is uh, a quality driver right that can wear many different hats right that they can open up the load board to you know and not be restricted okay so you make yourself very valuable and that increases your earning potential all right so let's take, for example, hazmat, right? Hazmat just doesn't mean you're going to be driving a tanker with fuel or some type of toxic waste, radioactive thing. Or That doesn't mean that, okay? It can be in a dry van, all right? But it can be in a tanker, okay? Uh, and a couple other platforms. Excuse me, I'm kind of tired. Uh, I've had a... Hell of a night. So, anyways, um, these endorsements are are very important. So, let me tell you how. The, what is the best way to pass an endorsement test? All right. So, like in Ohio, you can get the CDL manual booklet. Right, they have it there at the BMV, the testing facility area. Uh, in Kentucky, you have to, I believe you have to download it. Or you can go on the website and look at it, okay? So, you want to read the, the manual, read it a few times, whatever. This, some of these CDL practice apps are very good, all right? And they're very spot on. They're just, they're just, like, they're just like the tests, okay? A tanker test is 20 questions. Hazmat is 30. And a tanker, you can't miss uh, five or more. In hazmat, you can't miss seven or more, all right? But the best way to get through them and pass them, first of all, you got to study for it, okay? But not just study throughout the week. Study right before you walk in that door to take the test, all right? And then take the practice tests first. Run through them over and over and over again. Get these questions and answers down in your mind. Make it fresh. So when you walk in the door, it's fresh in your mind, okay? On, on the kiosks that you're going to be using, you can skip, okay? So if you come to a question that you're not confident about, right, that you doubt, skip it, right? That And then answer the ones that you know. Don't be afraid to skip. You can skip. There's a little skip button right there. Skip it, okay? 
and move on to the next question. If you don't know that, skip that one. Move on to the next question. All right. That that is that that will give you some time. Okay. You don't have to have to be intimidated. You know, by these things. Hazmat, yeah, it's very technical. It's very technical. But it's not intimidating. Does it make me nervous? Yeah, it made me nervous. You know, the first time I took it, that you know, it kind of did, but I blew through it. It wasn't as difficult as I thought it was going to be. Tanker, I blew through that. It was not difficult at all. Okay, so you can do it. It's just a matter of how you go about doing it with the right state of mind and in the right procedure. Right, you need to study the manuals, digital or otherwise. And then download a good practice app. Look at the reviews of the practice app. Download it and take it. You know, cram it over and over and over and over again. Do you have, do you damn near have the questions memorized and the answers memorized? For as soon as you see the question, you already know the answer. So when you get in front of that kiosk and that, and that computer screen, it's the same thing. It is the same thing. Okay. So, and you just blow through the answers. And, you know, it does not have to be difficult. And it, it, is, it is my hope that you can make yourself valuable and invaluable and indispensable. And you can move on with different experiences in, in the career. That way you open yourself up uh, to a load board that will potentially make you more money. Because that's what this is about. Right, making a living for yourself and family, or you know, whatever it is you're making a living for. So, uh, it is you know, it's my hope and it is my goal that we can all move forward in a positive and constructive manner, you know, and have fruitful and uh, progressive careers. I mean, that's what I want. I don't want it just for myself. I also want it for you. You know, so with that, you know, that's all I need wanted to say. And uh as important as it is, it, it you know, it was it wasn't a whole lot I needed to say about that. You know, it's just giving you guys another aspect of uh providing yourself with another leg up in the industry. Okay. And with that, you know, I'm gonna Hope you guys have a good, uncomplicated night or morning, whenever you see this. Like and subscribe. Leave me comments. Look, dude, let's be positive. All right? Yeah, I can learn from you just like you learn from me. And I don't have an issue with that. So, with that, I'm going to bid you guys good night. <clears throat> and uh, try to stay uncomplicated. <laughs>